Hey, hey, hey. hey babies, I'm Taffy and uh, I need to put some makeup on. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Nothing very exciting, putting on some makeup. Good, while I do that, uh, you know, you need a sort of theme for these things, don't you? So why don't I sit here and talk about all the things I hate about myself while I do this? That seems super normal and well adjusted. <sighs> You need something to talk about. Or else it's just me sitting here, just being boring. I'm gonna chop on some uh, primer. This is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection. And the look I'm gonna do today, right, we went out for tea Saturday night and uh, I took a nap. There wasn't that much time to do it. But I did a look and when we got home, my dear little husband was like, oh, you look really pretty. That, that's not what his voice sounds like. Does this voice sound like that? It doesn't really. It was like, that, that looks really pretty. You, It's pretty. And I was like, oh my God, you're so cute. So why don't I try doing that again? Just a little bit more care, time, and effort taken. Right, that's, that's just primed. Um, I guess we're gonna wait till that sinks in a little bit. Okay, I mean, I guess while we're waiting for this to happen, um, the first thing we can talk about, I hate my hair. I dye it a great colour. I mean, it, it, it's, it was a childhood dream of mine to have, you know, blue or green hair because um, when I was little, I used to watch Gem and the Holograms and I was like, one day Taffy, well, I mean, I was four, but I was like, one day Taffy, you're going to have blue hair and you're going to be great. And um, yeah, so, so after the earthquake, when, when I, um, you know, lost my employment in a big shower of rubble. I dyed it. And it's been in the spectrum of sort of between purple and green ever since, which is some time. Right, now, let's do some face. Wet and Wild, photo focus, something. Wet and Wild also, oh, good job on lying to, to everyone for a year. While I put this on, I mean, look at this cut. Look at all this. Don't love that for me. Skin is hard, isn't it? So yeah, um, I'm 34. I still get the occasional blemish. And by occasional, I mean, you know, there's always something going wrong, isn't there? The color of my face, it's okay. There's a little bit, I mean, a little bit of sun damage. There's quite a lot of sun damage because this is a real thing. The sun here in New Zealand is a, uh, yeah, you might go, come on mate, it's, no, that's not a thing. But because of our uh, latitude, longitude, the, no, because of the latitude and ozone hole, which was definitely a thing when I was little, the sun here is violent and bright and will fuck you up. So, I got me some freckles. The other thing, mate, I mean, everybody gets wrinkles as they get older, that's just... That's just how it works. My smile lines, they're okay, that's fine. I don't, I don't have anything serious in there. But what I do have is up here. These, these, all of this. You know when people sort of start getting older and you know, especially when people are like really, really old, you can, you can tell what sort of person they are. You know, it's written on their face and it's written in a lifetime's worth of facial expressions. So, you know, you can tell when, like, when people are, um, lovely, kind, friendly, happy people, they've got wonderful, wonderful smile lines out here. My husband's got wonderful smile lines. He's a little bit younger than me, but he looks a lot older because he's got a condition where he's got really big pupils, so he's spent, you know, his 30 years squinting directly into the sun which makes him look a lot older than he is, but makes him look, you know, really friendly and happy and approachable because he's got these beautiful smile lines, which are actually just squinting lines. He is, he's lovely and friendly and a happy boy. He's a good boy. Grumpy people that are constantly angry start to get these chiseled right in. Me? What is this? What does this say about me? I'm constantly surprised? Skeptical? If I were to ever get Botox, which you're not going to because I'm a real person. And, um, fillers, Botox, nah, mate. I, I, I got real 
As I say, I've got real life things to spend my money on, but, um, you know, if I were to get Botox, maybe I would get something up, up there. Maybe? Maybe. That's the only thing I'd do. I was gonna say something else, but now I've forgotten. All right, let's put some more on my hand. This stuff dries so quickly that you kind of do need two swipes of the stuff, but I'm fine with that. That's cool. Um, other interesting thing about my skin, right? Warning, slightly traumatic story incoming. When I got pregnant a couple of years ago, it didn't take, by the way, that's why I don't have any kids. I got two patches, right, there and there, where it's gone bad, basic discoloration. I'm just try and cover that up a little bit. Do you know why that happened? Well, I mean, I, I do know, it's hormones, isn't it? Everybody, people know that, you get pregnant, stuff happens to all of you, including your skin. So that's, that's a weird little um, couple of patches of, oh, I guess, hyperpigmentation, which uh, is different, different, new, requires a little bit more coverage than I've ever had to put on my forehead before. Oh, that's fun. Um, I am gonna just grab a little bit more and try and cover up this situation. It's quite a big, ugly pimple. I gotta be honest, I did try squeezing it last night and nothing happened and I thought, well, you know, at least in the morning it'll be erupting. Ready to go. It's not still in that, you know, hard stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's about uh, uh, as much covering of those jobbies as I'm gonna get. Is it? Can I try harder? Nah, fuck it, she's all right. Grown ups have pimples too. No, look, I'm, I'm not satisfied. I'm going to try something else. Uh, I'm necessarily can. Oh, fuck. Let's just try a cheeky little. Oh, there's so much pet hair in the end of this. Yikes, Tav. Let's just put a little bit of this uh, Makeup Revolution stick foundation on the bits that are gross. Right. And then you just finger it on. Well, it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, cool. Let's do a little bit of powdering just to set this. You know, Maybelline fit me. Just a normal... It's just normal, you know? Just came from the supermarket, it's not. Look at, look, look, pan, dude, that's, I think I've talked about um, skin enough. Honestly, like, I, I feel like I, I talk about this sometimes, but I don't want to toot my own horn. But I, I, I think I look quite good for my age. I'm in pretty good nick. You know what that is? That's growing up goth where, you know, instead of going outside, playing lots of sports, sunbathing in the harsh New Zealand sun. You know, I, I dabbled in that every now and again, but really not as much as some people. It's pretty good for mid thirties, I think. Yet without having had any work done as such. <laughs> Cause you know, all my beautiful friends from school, you know, beautiful, yes, they kind of do look their age. Although I look in the mirror and think I look my age because yeah, you go, yeah, and then so I look at other people who are actually my age, you go, damn, they look kind of grown up. But I think it's just me that's the outlier. That, that sounds very big headed, doesn't it? Look how great my skin is, but no, yeah, wearing sunscreen is great. Always great. Am I gonna do a little bit of bronzer? Sure. A little bit of, well, like contouring with it, because my face is kind of chubby. It's prettier than it used to be, you know, losing weight. Losing weight makes feel pretty. <laughs> Giving yourself cheekbones. It's like, oh look, you're thin, beautiful. Beauty standards. You know? You know? But look at that, like, mm, I don't know. Got some weird, like, the way this whole sits. Weird fat deposits. Why is this so lumpy? I don't know, man. If I wanted to be extra, I could go in and just contour out my double chin. Oh no. That's something I hate about myself. Fucking this. Dude. It's not just cause I'm plump. Man, when I was like 50 kilos, it's the one thing that's never, I've always hated it ever since I was little. That's something I would get done. The injections that fucking melt your double chin fat. Is that super vain? I don't know, maybe. If I get down to a, a size that I was super happy with, and this was still here, Okay, maybe stop poking it, you'll make it go all red. It's not, it's not my favourite thing about myself. Gotta be honest. 
everyone has things they hate and double chins it's kind of a family thing where we were a little bit yeah you know, this it can be genetic and our family has a little bit of that right I'm just gonna use a little bit of um, blush yeah go both of them one of them either of them both fuck it why not yeah. <laughs> blush okay that's probably a lot that up there for a little bit of color yeah make myself look a little more alive and while I've got this here might as well talk about my nose I don't know if you've noticed my nose is it's kind of a beast I've always hated my nose man it's ugly it's kind of ugly man it's it's huge uh, it's slightly wonky there's big I've got these big pockets of uh, fat sitting just down there it's not my favorite would I ever get a nose job no because that's major surgery my dude getting your nose done completely changes what you look like I wouldn't I don't want to change what I look like and also my husband would not let me he would not because curiously he thinks my nose is cute bless him I don't that is the reason why I have it pierced one two piercings if you hate something, put a hole in it, get some fun jewellery, and I've hated it a lot less since I've had all this done. I don't know, man, it makes it fun. Okay, so what I am going to do is, th like, this is a, this is a technique, I don't know, not really. Okay, but if we just go, right, is it contouring? Not really, but because it, it's not, it's not straight. And yeah, you put two lines down there and it's like, oh mate, do, I mean, are they straight? Do you want to make them straight? Do you want to? No. Anyway, um, that's my nose. I, I breathe through it. I use it for smelling things. Yeah, it works okay. It's just a big beaky nose and it lives on my face and it's gonna stay there. Let's get some highlighter. Well, uh, eh, this is out here. This is, um, an eye heart revolution. The unicorn's heart highlighter thing. Look, rainbow. If you swipe across the whole thing, it comes out really weird and blue. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to stick to the, the little corner that has the normal colors in. Right. And then highlight this. Oh, oh she's pretty shiny, eh? Oh, actually that is coming quite um, blue and strange looking. Fine, though. No big drama. And more of that. Come around here. Yes. Yeah, keep putting more on, dude. That's a real good idea. Okay, uh, stop. Stop. Okay, uh, here we go. Just a little bit right at the very tip so that. Yeah, is it cute? Not really. Right, up there. Mm hmm. A little bit. Bloop, bloop. And in there. And my very off center Cupid's bow. We're gonna talk about lips later because that's. Yeah. Is that my skin done? Yes. Yes, I think it is. Okay. Let's get out a pencil. <laughs> a pencil. Yes. And I'm gonna just uh, fix up my eyebrows a little bit. Now, the story of my eyebrows is long and painful, but I started tweezing the fuck out of them in the late 90s and I didn't stop until very recently yeah at one point I was I was waxing them off the whole lot and drawing on one of those really shitty little single line ugly goth eyebrows cannot recommend but for my birthday a year and a half ago my mummy shouted me microblading God bless the woman. And it changed my life. And now I'm quite fond of my eyebrows. There's not much hair there still, but you know, that's what the face tattoo is for, to fool people into thinking that you're not a degenerate who has a problem with self-control where tweezers are concerned. These days, right, look how easy this is. Oh, I've just got, this is a really shit pencil. Came from the supermarket, it's firm not particularly pigmented but all I have to do is color it in man it's like makeup for toddlers 
little coloring in, but it's easy. My micro beta spent an awful lot of time like drawing on the shape and being stuff because my face isn't even. I talk with this, this eyebrow. Cool story, right? My best friend in high school has the best eyebrows, natural eyebrows on anyone I've ever seen. Like they actually looked like this, this perfect shape. She never had to do anything to them, man. Fucking bitch. She also had extreme control over her eye eyebrows. She could like wiggle them like. And I thought that was cool. So I spent about a month at one point training myself in front of a mirror how to move my eyebrows independently. So, you know, I'd go like this and then be like. Like that. And then, so now I can do it without, you know, physically holding that one down, like. Um, so I got control over this one and then I got bored of the project. So I can't move this one independently, but I can move that one. I can also move my ears, but um, that's a different story. Where was I going with that? Can't remember. Even though I had a professional, like, spending about an hour trying to get the shape even. Like, every time I'd move, it'd be like, oh, God's sake, that... <clears throat> but that's fine. I'm quite pleased with them. Eh. There we go. Eyebrows. Microblading is fun. And helps with your face. Okay, so the other night, I just went for something. Started off being a bit boring. I'm gonna use this. It's the Revolution Reloaded Visionary. It's brown and purple. It's okay. It's okay. It's an okay palette. Right, let's go in. I'm gonna start off with this. Yeah, I start off with this cakey little colour. No, oh, it's going everywhere. That's fine though, because it's just to um start putting that everywhere as my base colour. So, what about my eyes? Do I hate? Nothing. I like my eyes. I think they are cool. The colour, interesting. I'm gonna be one of those girls that's like, my eyes change colour depending on my mood. Like I'm in some bad Harry Potter fan fiction. They don't change, they don't change colour depending on my mood. They change colour depending on like what I'm wearing and where I am and the light shining into them. In a fun sunset light, they go bright yellow, which is fun. Okay, my dad's got blue eyes, right? My mummy has eyes that are exactly the same colour as this, exactly the same colour. And my little brother and sister who are twins, my little sister has blue eyes, and my little brother has brown eyes. So there you go. All three of our siblings have completely different coloured eyes. Although you might look at that and go, sure that's not brown? No, I tell people they're green. It's not really that green, but it's greenish. Uh, are we done with this colour? Yeah, I think so, I think that's fine. Next colour I'm gonna go into, something a little bit more. All right, this little, yeah, it's brown. It's brown. As I've gotten older, it's come harder to do winged eyeliner, which you'll see in a bit. Hang on, fuck, what colour? No, this colour, this colour. But apart from that, mate, I don't really have any complaints. They're quite large, shape, fine, colour, interesting. You know, my eyesight isn't the best. Ooh, I've got an astigmatism. I think it's this eye. Is The eyeball is not round. It is slightly rugby ball shaped. I found this out, because when I was last year at high school, right, every single afternoon, you know, by the time 3.30 rolled around, I would have a roaring headache, and I assumed I had a brain tumour. I told my mum about this, and she was like, mm, why don't we just take you to the optometrist, dude? So yeah, we did that, and then it turns out that I've got an astigmatism, which uh, meant that, you know, like I can, it read fine, but doing it for long periods of time means quite a lot of strain put on the, oh, how does it even work? On the brain, the optic nerve. Too much strain on the brain because the brain's getting two different images seeing as the cornea's not proper. And reconciling them cause strain on the brain. So now I have readers that I use for reading and being on the computer sometimes. Here they are there. Oh look, oh shiny. Anyway, I use them for looking at things sometimes. Okay, I'm 
I'm happy with that colour. Let's get something a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna go into this guy here, right? Chuck this in here to deepen up the crease. This, I mean, there's not a lot of colour in this eyeshadow, but that's fine, because this is not what is going to be the focal point of the look. You know, my eyelid skin, it's, it's, it's not as youthful as it used to be, obviously. is not got to the point yet where putting on eyeshadow is that much of a hassle. But, you know, I'm sure it'll happen. Look, it's already, you go like that. Yeah, it's mm, getting older. It's just a part of life, isn't it? Unless you die, and then you stop getting older. God, I've done this in a really far away mirror and I fucked it up. Nah. So I guess I, I do I do try to not like squint so much when I'm doing makeup because I know that's probably you know it doesn't help. Does it? Same brush, right? I'm gonna go into the darkest one that's in here. It's doesn't uh, it looks darker on there than it does down in here. Just a little bit. Oh okay, that's quite a lot that you put on there, that's fine. And finish off this. Crease, don't come in. Fuck it, that'll do. Okay, look, it's my little. Ooh. I'm gonna use my lovely, beautiful single shadows that I got from Glamanatrix. And I'm gonna go into this fancy fucking blue. You don't need to swear, I'm gonna go into this blue sapphire. It's blue. Um, the other night I put it on with my finger, which is how I usually do this. I think I want a little bit more precision. So I'm going to use a little flat, packy packy brush. Right. Oh, fuck, what have I done there? That's no, fine. Right, and now she's. This is going on the lid. Am I priming a little, doing anything? No, mate, I'm just going to go in. Ah, uh, brushes are bullshit. Why am I bothering? Right, fuck it. Finger time. Much better. I don't know how you do makeup with long fingernails. There you go, while I'm doing this, I can talk about something else. My hands. Oh, you can't see that. Look, I have disgusting hands. They're very small. They are strong though, which I really like because I have played the piano since I was five and I spend a lot of time giving my husband human massages because he has a litany of things wrong with him, uh, including back, shoulder, neck, issues, some of which the symptoms can be alleviated with a nice strong massage from a loving wife. So I do that for him quite a lot. But my hands are not beautiful. I do a lot of gardening and I don't wear gloves when I'm gardening. Um, I don't use gloves because I feel like you lose all of your dexterity and I don't, I don't, I don't love that. I love being dexterous in the gardens but you know. I fuck about a little bit with, you know, like repotting seedlings and blah blah blah, everything. I don't, I just don't use gloves. As a result, my hands are kind of hard. They get really grubby. The nails are not ever in particularly good nick because I can't be bothered doing anything about them. Now, the thing is, I spent my entire childhood chewing my nails to the point where I got terrible infections in them. I don't know, man. Was I a particularly anxious child where I would, you know, self-harm by eating my own fingernails till they bled and got infected? Um, is that a normal thing for a child to do? I don't know, man, you tell me. Yeah, no, that, that wasn't great. I stopped eating them cold turkey when I went to boarding school when I was about 12. I don't know, I just remember sitting there with my friends, they were all putting on nail polish and I was like, I want to enjoy this too. So I stopped eating my nails. Unfortunately, I still eat the skin around the nails. So that's fucking gross. And sometimes you eat off too much, you leave yourself a big gaping piece of finger meat. It's a gross habit. I eat the skin on the inside of my mouth. As, uh, ugh, why am I telling you this? Man, why am I so gross? Ugh. Sick, that is brock fucking blue. Awesome, um, I'm gonna go in with a tiny little finger into the silver one. Noink. Just a tiny little bit. And boop, 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 boop. 
and a corner. Right, other side. Yeah, so my hands are ugly and I'm not proud of them, but they are functional and strong. And I'm reasonably dexterous. So that's cool. I'm gonna go now. Same fluffy one, and I'm gonna go into this purple hair, which is from Glaminatrix. And it is very soft, very buttery, but there is some format. So, so I just want a tiny little bit to come in and just actually go back in. Just around the outside of this. You know, is this the best and most flattering com color combination for my eyes? Um, maybe not. Another thing about my eyes, right, you see this, it's, I mean, I wouldn't say they're hooded, but they are kind of deep set. And the older I get, the bigger this sort of flap of skin right here is. See that? So if you put stuff in the crease and then go like this, you can't really see it. So, you know, I pretend that my crease is actually way up here. Yeah. And then it looks prettier. But yeah, fake crease way up there. Colour in that big blob of uh, <laughs> eyelid fat. No, it's cool. Okay, other side. Thing is, the way that the way that the two like it sits on either side is slightly different as well. So to try and compensate for it, it's like uh, where am I putting this? You know, maybe I'm just shit at makeup and it's hard to do it. Symmetry is hard. My face is not symmetrical <laughs> at all. Okay, I'm gonna grab um, something small, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go into that quite dark, but also quite muted purple and chuck a little bit on under here. My under eye isn't what it was. So I quite like going, I like this little eye bag thing. I think that's coloring that in is quite a cool look. But you've gotta put a bit up, quite up here because the light hits it and then it looks like you haven't done it properly, but there you go, that's fun. Taffy, mate, what? How were you doing this so badly? Come on, sort your life out. Look, it's not perfect, but um, I think it's fine. Am I gonna line my waterline? Nah, I can't be fucked. Nah, mate. Let's do some a winged liner, uh, just a just a cheeky little wing on my the upper, and then you can see how. Yeah difficult it is to do a wing. I mean this little outside bit of your eyes is like oh fuck. Oh that that bit got big. Ooh, okay. Good job. Ah oh, fuck it. Okay we can we can replicate that on the other side. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh dude. Eyeliner's hard. <gasps> Eyeliner's hard man. You think I'd be better at eyeliner by now but and then like that. Ugh. Yeah, that'll do. All right, let's get some mascara and put some mascara on your eyelashes. Right, mascara time. Let's see. How do I feel about my eyelashes? I like my eyelashes. They are long, longish, quite full, quite dark. Nothing to complain about. I did uh, about last year. I got like a tube of the um, eyelash growth serum, right? That shit works. I think they're still looking pretty good now. But right, I thought it was a good idea. Be like, you know what? I'm gonna put this stuff, upper lashes and lower lashes. But I'm not, I'm not particularly precise. So I keep getting bits and it'd end up being like way down here. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Then one day, looked in the mirror and realized I'd grown a patch of dark fuzz just down there. Down there. Like I was in the witches or something. And I'd eaten the potion, you know. I don't want cockalicky soup. I want crass. That was a terrifying movie when I was little. Yeah, the opening scene when the cops come and because the parents didn't come home and the cops turn up the next day and they're like, your parents are dead. And then grandma was like, oh shit, let's go on a vacation. So I waxed that off. I wish I'd gotten photos of it beforehand because it was funny, but I was so horrified. I was like, fuck. So I grew a patch of, I grew a patch of fur. Um, if anyone was wondering if eyelash growth serum works. Yes, it does. Almost too well. You know what? I quite like big, tall, spidery lashes because, um, you know, I always thought that looked kind of cool, even though maybe 
some would disagree. But then the people that disagree, right, are the ones that are wearing nice false lashes. And I don't like wearing those. I think they're uncomfortable. I can never get them stuck on right. And I don't think I've ever worn any out in public because they suck. Unlike my eyebrows, I've got no complaints about my eyelashes. I think they are fine. Is that the finished eye look? I mean, it's... I haven't been taking that much care, to be honest. No one's gonna notice! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with it? I need lipstick, right? Let's do that. I'm gonna um, line my lips a little bit. I don't think I'd ever get lip fillers because I mean they're so prevalent. Like they're very, it's a very normal thing to get your lips filled these days. I can't wear liquid lipsticks because of this. I think liquid lipsticks only look good on people with lips that are so filled that there's absolutely no texture to them whatsoever. Otherwise, my guy. I don't think they make you look good at all. I'm saying that. Would I get lip fillers? No. I, I don't think I would. But if I did, you know, you can just get little bits to like fix up asymmetry. I don't know if you can tell. My, you know, what's this thing called? I can't remember. Look at, look at the angle this guy is on. Look at that. Yeah. And I, I know I, I talk kind of asymmetrically as well. Like I, um, I do favor this side of my face a bit, don't I? Was it this side? No, it's definitely this side. I think it's just years of talking is like move my mouth over. I don't know. The other thing, all right, now let me do this. I mean, apart from the placement of the whole situation, the other thing I don't love, right? Can you see that there? There's a bit of a lump right there. Right. I wasn't born that way. When I was like, 16 or so my little sister was uh, maybe 13 or something she had one of her mates around at our house and i was i was in a bit of a cheeky mood so i was giving them shit and just you know being an older sister being a dick and it was it was all in good fun and my little sister also all in good fun she picked up a phone handset and threw it at me just in her laugh but it clocked me right there and it got very large, very lumpy, bled a little bit. She was like, whoops. And I was like, ow, you fucking cunt. But I didn't, you know, want to get too sad because she had a friend there, you know. That lump um, became permanent. So, thanks, dude. Why did I choose this colour? Don't know. It's quite pink, isn't it? May not be Taffy's best colour. That's fine. So if I could get lip fillers, maybe I could get some put in the other side to make it not look so um, lumpy and uneven. I, you know, that's what face doctors do, isn't it? They fix your face. You know, it's like a grand. I, I don't, I don't care that much. Oh, we could talk about my teeth as well because. Gotta be honest, I have been drinking a lot of coffee recently and the colour is showing it. Hey, I should do something about that. Yeah. Coffee. Lots of coffee. But they are, I mean, I hate to say perfect because like, you know, you see people on YouTube that do have perfect teeth, but they've got them all done that way. These are all real um, and they are, you know, functionally perfect. There is a little bit, right, when I was, First year of high school, so I was, well, I, I, I was 12, but I went to the dentist and he's like, this tooth here is sitting back a little bit far. And if you don't do anything about it, you know, later on in life, it, the other ones will push it slightly backwards and it'll go and sit behind that one. So, and I was like, oh, okay, that doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but whatevs. Sure, if you think, Doing something about it is a good idea. He's like, yeah, yeah, So um, I got a plate, which is just one of those things that sits up there and then has that one bit of metal around the front and there was a little spring pushing forward that tooth there. And I wore that oh, three or four months, went back, got it tightened, found it very uncomfortable, tried to untighten it by myself, completely fucked the whole thing. So I was like, oh, well, that experiment's over. That was fun. Whatever. Like, it's, I can't imagine it's going to be that bad. You know what? Now I'm 35. I wish it. I, I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I'd stuck with it. Cause it's starting to happen. You can see it now, like that. This side, yeah, sitting nice and flat. This side, that's 
that is happening, my guy. Also, at the end of high school, I had my labrette pierced. Can you see the hole? Yeah, you can see the hole. So, I would play with the, the inside of the piercing and sort of grab it between all my front teeth, which is why there's a little bit of chipping action. I don't give a shit. Only thing I would do to my teeth, egg and why didn't that be fun? Oh, but you know, I do really like fangs, people that get, you know, porcelain fangs, like Mikey from Glam and Gore, got fangs. I think they look fucking cool. Oh, they look cool. But I, you know, going to the hygienist every, you know, year is probably as far as I'm gonna get with that. Yeah, is that us? Dude, I think it is, my list. Last thing, things I hate about myself, my hair. I'm not gonna show you my real hair, you've probably seen it, it's not very interesting. This lovely wig, though, is what I, in my dreams, what I think my hair should look like. Lovely, thick, body, perfect colour. I mean, my hair's this colour sometimes, but it never looks like this, does it? My hair's very fine, very, very fine, very, very thin, very damaged. Um, it's going, it's, it's going grey. So, uh, for things like this, I'm gonna wear a wig. Cause it's, it's easier than trying to, like, just putting this on, like, braiding my own shit hair and then putting this on is easier than sitting there with a, a, like, a straightener or whatever and trying to do something about my real hair. Cause it just, it doesn't. And I'm, I've got to go to the hairdresser as well sometime, but I'm trying to just get out of, like, wash out as much of the current colours at the moment so I can go in and go and get something interesting done. Fresh, new, cool. Anyway team, I'm, I'm gonna go. This is the look that I wore out to dinner over the weekend and that my husband thought looked pretty. Yeah, I'm done. And you know what? I might hate a lot of things about myself, but while well, there are a lot of things that are ugly, mate, I still think I'm fucking hot. So, you know, you don't have to be perfect to be a total babe. I like this guy. That's the message of today. Oh no, your body's changing. I'm not gonna apologize for it. <laughs> okay, I, I hope this was entertaining. I had fun doing it. Right, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. So, um, if you wanna subscribe, that'd make me happy. So, I've been Taffy, you've watched me complain about the face, thanks for hanging out. I love you, love you, bye. <laughs> bye, 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 bye.